Tis the season when we see Santa's helpers, all those elves, in Christmas movies like Fred Claus and Santa Buddies. But what happens when little people put on more common costumes? Let's do this. Like in the movie Elf. Does Santa know that you left the workshop? Call me Elf one more time. He's an angry elf. In real life, what'll happen to our little person Bill when he interviews for a sales job? After all, we know that a good first impression is everything. We're at the Black Bear Saloon in White Plains, New York, and Jeremy is playing our interviewer. He's very obnoxious and offensive. Hi, I'm Bill. Hey, Bill. I'm here to interview for the position. These are tall shoes to fill. I need someone who's gonna be taken seriously. I don't need an elf. I'm not an elf. And watching from behind the scenes with us is Leah Smith from an organization called the Little People of America. I hope to just shine a light on what really happens with discrimination among our membership. If you see or hear this. How are they gonna take you seriously? You're a midget. What would you do? Let me just, uh, how, how tall, how long have you been working at, uh, at Huntley Enterprises? 10 years. These are big shoes to fill, if you don't mind my expression. I think my qualifications and my education speaks for itself. Kate Martin from Australia senses a slight problem, and it's about to become much worse. I think there's been a misunderstanding. I'm hiring a sales representative. That's what I do. You take a look at my resume. I'm worried about my clients. I need someone who can look right in my client's eye, and you're about three feet too short to do that. Kate is completely glued to the scene. Can you hang on just a moment? Sure, yeah. And now that Jeremy yeah. steps away, will she say something? Hey, excuse me. Yes. Uh-oh, here we go. That's the most offensive piece of discrimination I've seen in my entire life. Good for her. That's what we need to see, you know? I really need this job. This you guy don't want to him. If you were me, what would you do? I would tell him to get and I would leave. <laughs> You're not going to get the job. And he's a pig. This is not unusual, actually. It, it, it happens frequently. I just, um... I'm really sorry. Thank you. I think I'm just going to go. We tell Bill to leave the room for a minute. And now Jeremy's back. Where'd that little fella go? That man. The little guy he left? Wouldn't you after someone treated you like you just treated him? I was honest with him. He's a midget. Your behavior was appalling. You don't know him. The way you spoke to him was not okay. I was just trying to be honest, you know. There's a difference between honesty and being discriminatory. There are a lot of jobs out there for him. He could be an elf or a, you know, a dwarf, one of those people. Mate, please don't talk to me anymore. I would prefer if you just pretend I'm not here. Wow, that's good, huh? How are you, man? Oh, my. No, go away. I'm blushing already. It was the most appalling thing I've ever seen. And I've loved being in America. And that just that moment, I thought, oh, no, don't let this spoil my life. I'm going day. back. A lot of people won't say anything. Why is that? Dude? See, I'm Australian, obviously. And my experience in America is that actually you're quite open to um, talk about difficult things. And that's what you like about this place? Yeah, absolutely. As our cameras are rolling, time and again, diners defend our little person. That's a jerk. He violates several human rights statutes. Nobody should be treated like that. That's one thing I want. This guy must be an idiot. Merry Christmas, little guy. <laughs> Thanks for seeing me. I really look forward to this interview. This little girl can't help but notice Bill's short stature. Her mother quickly tries to distract her. She noticed him when he walked in, and we were having a discussion initially about how it's not polite to stare at people who look different. So when he left, I said the man left because the other man was not being kind and hurt his feelings, and he was upset. Is it right to be mean to someone because they're different? No. But no one stands up to Jeremy's insults, like Pat and her daughter, Trisha O'Donnell. I would like to talk to you about my resume. You and I both know that's not gonna happen. You should have told me on the phone, hey look, just so you know, I'm a midget. Their eyes glaring daggers at Jeremy. It looks like she's dying to talk. It looks like she's dying to talk, yeah. That word is so offensive. You haven't even looked at my resume. It's not too late, why don't you go? I'm sure there are malls around here that are doing the whole Santa thing. 
You know, you could be an elf in one of those things. And that is the last straw. They're extremely offensive towards him and extremely rude. Being offensive to us to have to listen to him. Did I do something wrong? Yes, yes. You did. That's good. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you're laughing about it. You're defending this little freak show. That's what you should be ashamed of. I'm leaving. Seriously, little guy, if you need some dinner, go ahead. Whatever you need. Have a merry little Christmas. So disrespectful and disgusting. Have a bill say, go over them and say thank you. Thank you so much for. No. Would you like to sit? Now Trisha takes matters into her own hands, starting a little investigation. What is the name of the company? Yeah. What are you gonna do? She wants to contact Jeremy's company and complain. You'll get the guy fired. Does he deserve a job more do than you deserve a job? No. But I appreciate it. Of course, they won't reach the company. Hi there. Instead, they get me. Are you okay? <laughs> what you were shaking. We just. <laughs> what did you feel like doing to that big guy? <laughs> Nothing I can say in front of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it was upsetting. I mean, for myself, I work with special needs kids, so I saw someone that was look different, but you're not different, and so it really upset me. What do you hope people take away from this? No, I'm um, just not to treat anybody differently. You know, we're all the same. You nailed it. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it was an afternoon filled with big reactions, big voices, big hearts, all embracing our little person. The message, differences among us should never matter, holiday season or not. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.